Hey guys, it's just me. I am back yet again with another Diva on a Dime thing. Now I know that I have been sort of absent in this whole series right now. I've just been busy and I've, I have a really good um, video idea, but I, it's some stuff that I had purchased for super cheap and I had to order it online. So I'm just kind of waiting for them to come in and I've just been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and I was like, oh, I just can't wait anymore. So I'm going to create this video and then in the next week or so, I'll give you guys my other one. So just stay tuned for that. Anyways, today is going to be about skincare. Um, now I know I already did a, re a review. I did a um, Diva on a Dime about honey and the ways you can use it for your skin and your body, your face, wherever you want to use it. This one is going to be scrubs that you can make at home. Now, a regular scrub isn't that expensive. Like, I use the St. Ives one. I'll show you, actually. Uh -huh. I use this one, St. Ives. Um, and this is under $5 for this bottle. And it's just really simple. It's just an apricot exfoli exfoliating scrub, pardon me. Um, works really good. It's just the best thing. I've used it forever, so that's just kind of what it looks like. Um, but these are ones that you can just make uh, at home. I know this is really cheap and lots of people can afford this, some people probably can't, which is not really a big deal, but these are things that you're already going to carry in your home that you can just kind of create a cool scrub with. Even if you only make it for, you know, that morning you're taking a shower, or if you make it, you know, before you have a bath in the evening, or just to relax, or just to have a nice little spa time at home, that's really, you know, all you need it for. So anyways, I'll get right into it. Um, the first kind of scrubs I want to show you are just your basic, your super basic scrub. Everybody has sugar in their home. Delicious, crystally sugar. So yummy. Mm, I'm going to take some. Um, it's like under my nails now. Probably not the best idea. But sugar, just plain old white sugar. If you wanted to just have this and just kind of rub it like on your skin, it would do a great job of exfoliating. If you want to add, you can even add some oil to it if you like. This is just regular oil I use for cooking. Um, it might be vegetable oil or olive oil, I can't remember. It's probably olive oil. Um, you can mix these two together and make a nice paste. You can even mix it together with, say, any kind of body wash that you have. This is just from Sephora. It's uh, one I got for my birthday. It's a vanilla birthday cake smell. Smells really good. So you can mix that and that. Create a really, really nice scrub. Um, if you don't have that, my cat is knocking things over. You can even use regular old dishwashing soap. So that's really fun and exciting. Um, another white thing you can use is salt. Um, I keep my salt in this little salty guy here. Um, but as you can see, salt comes out of him nicely. So you can use salt too if you don't want to use sugar. It's not like you're going to be eating it, so it doesn't really matter if it's sweet or salty like that. So really not a big deal. Um, and again, you can mix that with same thing as the sugar. Mixing it with an oil or you can mix it with some soap, anything like that. Makes it, makes a really nice scrub. You can do it all over your body and it exfoliates really well. And it being sugar and salt, it dissolves amazingly. So it's not like you'll have this, you know, you'll be scrubbing forever and like wiping it off for a long time. It's just really super simple. Um, another couple of things that really kind of made me want to do this video is because it was summer here and now it's kind of like fall weather here. So it's not as like summery. That doesn't really make sense. I'm having like a problem talking today or something. Anyways, you can use fruit. So some fruit I have here, these are blueberries, these are organic blueberries, I'm on kind of a crazy organic kick right now. Um, obviously you don't have to buy organic ones, they are, actually I think these were cheaper than um, the regular ones in the store, whoops, I'm falling all over the place. So what you can do with these is if you just take a few, you don't even need this many, I just put some in here to show you like an example, um, you can take half of this amount and you can crush them up really finely. You can even use just the fruit as an exfoliant. I personally wouldn't do that because that's not really diva on a dime. That can get kind of expensive. So if you could just take a couple of them, crush them up. If you want to use them just plainly on your skin, that works really good because fruit, especially, I'm going to show you some strawberries too. Some strawberries and blueberries they have a lot of antioxidants in them. So antioxidants, I meant um, enzymes. 
tips. <laughs> It'll mm -hmm. really do a really good exfoliation of your skin. But anyways, you can just take a couple of blueberries and then mix it with the sugar. And then you have this really great like blueberry sugar scrub. And if you want to add some yogurt to that, um, some oil to that, any kind of, or if you want to add soap to it, whatever, it's just going on your body. So anything like that, you can really mix it up. Of course, I do suggest using organic, but again, not everybody can either has access to organic or can afford it or whatever. I Like I said, I'm just on an organic kick. And I'm so organic that I'm going to eat one right now. Mm. Um, another thing I want to talk about, mm, they're really good, strawberries, like I just mentioned. I just have four here. Obviously, if you were going to do a scrub, you could just use this smallest one, just one. And these are organic as well, but again, do not have to use organic. Um, you just use one like this. You can chop it up really finely and just kind of get it as crushed as you can. You can even crush a bunch of them in um, a blender if you really need to. Add some sugar and some yogurt and you can use it as even a face mask which works really good. Or if you add some honey and some organic yogurt that makes a really good face mask too. And it, It's not a scrub or anything but it will do an exfoliation because of the enzymes in the strawberries. So super delicious and nutritious. Mm. <laughs> I'm such a goober today, like, I haven't made a video in so long, and I'm, like, really excited to make one, and it was a long day at work, and I'm tired, but it's very exciting nonetheless. <laughs> Another very popular idea for a scrub is good old-fashioned coffee grounds. Now, you guys better be appreciative of this, because I don't drink... Um, regular coffee out of like a coffee machine that has like the filter and everything. I actually have a Tassimo machine so it comes in these little discs and I have to like peel open the disc with like a knife and scrape it all out. But these are just regular, you know, just nice coffee grounds. It smells delicious. This is for my coffee this morning. I didn't empty out my little Tassimo disc so it actually kind of worked out in my favor because I was able to show them to you today. So you can actually just use these straight I would take this dish into the shower and use it straight on my body, which is really good. And plus it smells so amazing, so it's going to really kind of wake you up in the morning as well. Um, but again, with this, mix it with the oil, or you can mix it with any kind of body wash that you use. That works really good too. Or again, just kind of straight. So, um, one of the last, one of the last, I'll show you another fruit actually. I have this uh, just chilling on my counter. It's a giant pineapple! Like we're gonna have a fiesta fruit party. Like a fruit hat. <laughs> Obviously not like this, but when you're cutting it up, again the same thing with the um, blueberries and the strawberries and everything. If you pulse it up really nice and get it kind of really mushy, add sugar to it, add anything to it. You can use the shred on your face because pineapple does have little tiny seeds in it that will exfoliate, but be very careful of this because it's quite acidic. So if you have really sensitive skin, I would definitely do a patch test with this first. But again, the pineapple will work good. I suppose if you wanted to, you could like scrub this on your face. You'd be like bleeding after, but hey, it exfoliated your skin. Anyways, that's stupid. <laughs> um... So one of the last things I'll show is oatmeal. Um, once again, this isn't your regular oatmeal. This is some um, all organic oatmeal. So this has um, like wheat germ and it has flax and it's really, really super, super healthy stuff. Um, but it's really, really like gritty. Like you can see lots of little like particles and stuff in it. Really cool. It's like a shower. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are really super gritty, and if you if you do mix this with even just water, like if you're in your shower, it will immediately start forming kind of almost like a paste because it is an oatmeal, and you do normally mix it with water, so that works. But again, like I said, you can also mix this one with our favorite Demon and Dime product, honey. Um, obviously not too much because you don't want it to be like really sticky all over your body, but it would work really good. Um, you can also mix it again with that, or again with your favorite dishwashing detergent. Dawn is my favorite these days. It has like a picture of a little ducky a duck on it. it. Smells really good. Obviously, I do dishes constantly because there's a bunch left and I just bought it. Um, and I think that was all of the scrubs I wanted to show you. That's obviously not the only things in the world that you can make scrubs with. Um, there's lots of different products. Open up your cupboards and like. 
take a look around because they're everywhere. Um, enjoyed that video. Um, I do have a really good idea for another video that's coming up, but I'm just kind of waiting for some stuff online to be ordered in. So yeah, until then, I hope you guys, like I said, really enjoyed this video and have so much fun creating your own kind of scrubs. Just look around in your kitchen. I'm sure you have a ton of stuff. So anyways, good luck divas.